Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of B to Z. Today is June 4 and uh, we're looking at uh, part 3 of the 5 frame worker colony combined. Um, this was the initial worker colony box and this is the queen right box here. On um, part 2 we removed the screen. If you haven't seen part 2 go ahead and uh, check back and look at part 2. And also part one, this way you can be up to speed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel now. This way you don't forget. Um, the last time that we looked at this uh, was on the 29th of May. And today again is uh, June 4. So let's go ahead and uh, open them up and let's see how um, they're doing now. A little bit of smoke there. A little bit of smoke down here. them up and there's still quite a bit of bees so that's a good sign give them a little bit more smoke on top and here we go okay super pad any beetles you need beetles, there's no bees that are stuck to it. A lot of people don't like to use these because they think that the bees get, like hundreds of bees get stuck to it, which is not true. Okay. Give you a quick peek underneath here. A lot of bees. This is the top box. Lots of bees. I'd say about four out of five frames are bees. Take off one frame. Got one hit, one guy buzzing me on my left hand. Don't know why. Okay, so we're looking for eggs or the queen. Whichever one is fine by me. We have plenty of cat's honey there, some pollen, and that's it. Inside, same thing. Okay. So far, so good. We'll see any drone brood. We'll give these guys a couple more squirts of smoke here. That's frame. Top box. So we got some drone there in the bottom. And again, this was the worker box. So there's probably going to be some from the old box. I don't see the queen, I don't see anything else going on in this frame. Other side, nope. more drone, some nectar nope. on the top. I don't see any eggs or larvae. I don't see the queen. Alright, so this one we have tons of eggs. Right in the center, a little bit of brood pattern. Brood pattern here, a little cap root, and this is all full of eggs. You see, we can get a really good, nice close up. you got that on, on there but there's plenty of eggs if you don't believe me trust me lots of eggs these are probably like two or three day old eggs they're no longer standing up nice and straight they have a little bit of curb towards the down so there we go there's lots of cat brood here that's good this is good. I don't see the queen. Eggs all the way around this patch of cat brood here. And all those empty cells that are, don't have, um, they're not capped, they're all laid up with eggs. 
Not a single cell has been missed. Excellent. So that's one frame. One frame. One frame of um, eggs. See what this next one shows. Lots of bees. Don't quite see the queen. So lots of nectar and cat brood. These look more like drone cells to me. They're not quite flat and even like they normally should be. Looks like some drone cells over here, probably from, again, from the, from the original worker colony. I see some pollen packed up on the legs. I don't see the queen. So, I don't mind that I don't see the queen. But because this was a worker box on top, I was looking for eggs in the top. And no signs of a worker anymore. Okay, so just one frame of eggs on the top so far. Then there's the queen right smack in the center. She's actually laying an egg right now. She's laying an egg. She's still laying an egg. And there she goes. She just came out. Excellent. Let's see how much of this she's laid up already. She's laying another egg again. So she is working. There she is right there. There she is. Right there. Right there. Right there, she's right there. So she's definitely moved up to the top box, kind of expected. Bees like to move to the top. You give them space to move up and they will move up. So this would be a perfect opportunity to make a split. I know that she's on the top box. And as long as we have eggs in the bottom, I can actually do a split. And it's only been a week since I combined these guys. So laying worker hive combined to a queen right hive was a success. So I'm going to call this part three and this ends it right now. Um, there's no sense on further investigating the worker hive combining method on, on, uh, on this system. So for all you guys that have worker um, laying worker hives this is a great option um, so far I've done it to two hives one with a three frame and three frame on top of each other um, I, had, I had we had a lot of bad weather a lot of queens didn't come back ended up having um, a lot of um, failed splits uh, because of the three weeks of rain straight I think is in my opinion the reason that it happened and I've combined um, uh, two of those um, splits that failed that had laying workers with on top of queen right boxes. And here's one I put on video so you guys can see that this method does work. Um, no, I didn't shake these bees out. Um, all I did was that I put the box on top of a queen right um, colony. So. No need to lose all your bees.
Okay, guys, thanks for watching another episode of B to Z. Stay tuned for my next videos. I try to post one to two videos per week. Um, and uh, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.